hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video i was quite busy with some work that because of that i wasn't able to make any video well i was 17.5.1 is out for a week now and in this video i'm going to talk about its performance and battery life when it comes to battery life i'm definitely going to share the battery stats so we are going to discuss how the battery is performing running different applications so make sure to check out this video till the end also i want to talk about whole battery health situation going on well let's talk about the battery health situation so going into settings going into the battery going into the battery health the charging as you can see my battery health is 92 percent well going back to like couple of weeks maybe six seven weeks it was 97 percent just in the span of two months it dropped five percent and we all know that this was happening with a lot of people before that we were complaining that it is might happening because of the iOS 17.5 betas but then it is something that was happening with everyone and still there is no proper report from the apple that why it happened but yes it dropped a lot in last four to six weeks which is I'm not happy with that so this is something that is not good but still it is happening to many people now talking about the performance of ios 17.5.1 everything is going really smooth i have no issues at all I, I haven't faced any bug at all as this update was here to fix different bug fixes importantly it was here to fix the uh, photo library bug where people were seeing deleted photos again in the photo library but uh, after updating to this one i haven't noticed any bug or any issue and haven't faced any performance issue so when it comes to performance everything is battery smooth but yes the battery has dropped a lot from 17.4 to 17.5 which is i am not happy about and because of that definitely battery health has also decreased now talking about the battery health from last couple of days as you can see i'm using 17.5 Point one for so many days if i go over here as you can see the graph i use my phone for around 80 percent and i got screen on time of 7 hours and 54 minutes which is really good honestly uh using instagram for two hours netflix for almost two hours then whatsapp for more than three hours and facebook and a lot more applications now going to some other day over here for example as you can see i used my phone for around maybe 65 to 70 percent according to the graph and screen on time is quite different it is 4 hours and 40 minutes again instagram youtube whatsapp tiktok these are some of the applications uh, going over here again as you can see i use my phone for around 55 to 60 percent according to this graph and i got screen on time of almost five hours that is four hours and 46 minutes and again using instagram a lot along with snapchat as you can see this one this is and whatsapp netflix facebook so overall if i compare the average sc screen on time i would say it is a decent screen on time and everything is really good although it is summer in my country and phone is getting very much warmer than normal which is also not good that also can be a reason of battery health decrease and that can be also a reason of battery training well these are something that we cannot beat these things are natural these are lithium-ion batteries they are going to decrease their health in any way possible so this is something that is natural we cannot control these things this is what it is well that's it from this video you guys let me know that how your iphone is performing are you happy with the ios 17.5.1 or let me know that what iOS version you are using in the comment section below. Well, I will see you in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.